Hey guys, what's going on? It's Alex for Irons here, and today I bring you the Diamond SMGs in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now, the last gun I needed for Diamond was the Well Gun. I did not do the Tommy Gun. I just felt that it wasn't strong enough or viable enough, especially when the Well Gun is quite literally the most powerful SMG in its entire class right now. And in my opinion, I think it even beats out the MP40 as far as time to kill goes. I mean, this thing is incredibly good. It one shots in hardcore pretty much whatever attack attachments you rock i mean it is insanely insanely powerful even at level one now the well gun was introduced in season one but it actually wasn't in the battle pass this is the one uh that was released mid season that you have to do a challenge for it's a pretty easy challenge i believe i think it only is like a, a like 15 kills with smgs in a couple matches or something like that pretty easy challenge to get done i think everybody should unlock this like this is clearly better than a few of these guns do the well gun instead of uh, an smg that you don't like like this thing is so good so good um now i do have a build here this is called the air fryer i don't actually know what it looks like recoil i mean you can do bare minimum attachments and this thing's so the shreds i mean it is so good so good here now i did already get it diamond luckily i do have the footage for that i just was doing the long shots and lost track um so i do apologize for that but that kind of just goes to show how easy this thing is even for the hardest challenge in the game the long shots are so easy to where i completely lost track of them and the challenges are just quite straightforward i mean the basic smg challenges 400 eliminations 100 headshots 50 multi kills 30 bloodthirsties, 100 long range kills, super easy even with this gun, I mean they do have that long shot playlist, still isn't back in the game yet, I don't know where that is going or if they're going to bring that back ever, but yeah you can get this done in DOS house, it does count because it is an SMG and it does one shot even with this build, this is like the perfect long range build, it one shots um, in DOS house, very very nice, very good, uh, 100 close range kills, super easy, 100 hip fire kills, again super easy, just don't ADS, and then we have another set of hip fire kills but with a certain amount of attachments, again this is super easy with ship house constantly being in the game just run that and the uh the build that you're seeing on the screen here is what i used it does have gung-ho um in the challenge too so it, it becomes very very easy yeah i don't really have anything else to say i mean these attachments in this gun just make these challenges really easy i mean it has gung-ho even like i don't what else is there to say i don't know i'm moving on then we have 100 ads kills with these attachments now i don't think you can get this for long shots at least that's not how i did it so i don't think you can you know if you can comment down below because i would really like to know if you can uh, the, again the attachments that you're seeing on the screen here is what i used it's probably an ads build super straightforward again just make sure you ads make sure you're pre-aiming if you're in hardcore there really isn't much to say just kind of ads all the time you can get this probably done in the game same with this one you could probably get it done in a single game and i think i actually did and then here we have 100 short range kills so if you are for some reason struggling with this run you can get two of them done which is really nice with these attachments again uh, shipment dos house practically every kill you get in shipment is going to count as a close range kill at this point so again just use the attachments on the screen is what i use you do not get gung ho you do get momentum so you get you do get that nice like movement speed buff when you get a kill so that's pretty nice and then yeah once you complete all of those you will get gold and then in my case diamond for the well gun it has a lot of movement speed as we can see we have fleet acrobatic unmarked and gung-ho and momentum which all impact your speed in some sort of way fire while sprinting move speed after kills just better movement speed prone transaction silent, silent footsteps it all has to do with mobility and like how you move with this gun so i definitely can see this gun crying right now in warzone because you have uh you know this this fleet weapon sp swap quickness and movement speed i mean that's huge that's huge that's huge also the first uh magazine that you unlock just immediately increases the amount of damage you do so if for some reason this thing doesn't feel like it's doing enough damage i mean at level like six you get this so i mean at level six you're 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 practically two-shotting people i mean unless they're on you know they'll be left on five hp right so or 10 hp sorry i mean that just becomes an automatic one shot in hardcore i mean i think even even without this it's a one shot i mean that's that's more that's more damage then you have health in hardcore so yeah this thing can be very 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 busted especially with some of these attachments just i mean straight up perfect attachments right off the rip too like i mean come on like, you just get instant buffs to like recoil and ads speed just right off the get-go with some of these so very very nice very useful very good i cannot give this gun enough praise please use this gun instead of one of your smgs so I made this build pretty quickly here. I think it probably, in my opinion, is the best one. It does have quite a bit of a slower movement speed, 
Um, however, with fleet and with uh, lightweight, which just gives you a faster movement speed, I think it's pretty viable. I mean, if you like running uh, double time instead, then you might want to change this a little bit. But honestly, lightweight is my favorite of these perks. I mean, all these don't really seem that useful um, other than mechanic. I think mechanic and lightweight and double time probably have the, the highest competition. But I just think lightweight, um, just the overall movement speed, tactical sprinting or not, is better, especially with, you know, some of these because this uh, will... <laughs> lowers lowers your movement speed quite a bit and then on top of this one here this is kind of what i have been using and what i was using on stream i did stream with this gun if you want to see that vod video i still have to edit it it's like a four hour vod be coming up soon though so fingers crossed i like was speed running this gun to see how fast i could get it max level let's go ahead and set it as favorite here and see what it looks like on your operator here i mean yeah i can't really see much of it because the operator you can't really see like all of that's kind of what it looks like um anyway guys let's go ahead and get into the gameplay uh and show what diamond looks like when you unlock it uh using the well gun oh shit oh my god i just i got it on accident whoops uh well yeah i, I was not keeping track but here it is, the diamond SMGs. I just got the uh, well gun gold. Um, we should see the diamond camos here. Um, yeah, the well gun will count. Um, I don't have any other SMGs. I use the well gun instead of the Tommy gun. I just think it's better because it is better. But yeah, there it is, the diamond camo and uh, Call of Duty Vanguard. Yeah, I'm glad I turned on my microphone. <laughs> I was not keeping track of these. <laughs> There it is. Anyway, guys, this was a short clip from a couple nights ago. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into an actual game and see what all of the SMGs look like. Diamond and Call of Duty Vanguard. And here is the MP40 Diamond. Looks very good. Again, we have the studs pr practically covering the entire gun here in Vanguard. That's pretty much how the Diamond camo is. Looks very good on the uh, MP40, though. Very solid gun. Very nice camo. And then here is the Sten uh, with the diamond camo. We have most of these, uh, the diamond studs. See how they weirdly wrap around some of the corners of the gun here. Kind of my biggest complaint is I just don't feel like looking down this site, it just doesn't look realistic to me. It just doesn't, like when you get up close, when these studs wrap around and bend around certain things, it just kind of takes the look and it just, it kind of ruins it for me, to be honest. It's decent. And then here is the well gun practically entirely covered in the studs uh, luckily it doesn't go all the way around the iron sight luckily but it does cover the entirety of that long magazine or most of it i mean there's just a little bit that isn't covered i actually really enjoyed this gun it wasn't that bad kind of weird to use because the magazine's right there but pretty decent pretty solid all right and here it is the type 100 honestly one of my favorite guns in this game and even in world war ii this gun was my favorite to use really solid we get that two-part action which i love i mean come on this looks really really good it does cover the iron sights though kind of annoying but i'd give it i'd give it a pretty high score to be honest all right, and here's the PPSH. Again, we have more of this two-part action uh, with the primary and secondary diamond. Uh, some studs on the uh, like upper barrel and a little bit on the grip. Uh, also the magazine as well. Uh, but then we have the two-part going in to, like the bottom of the barrel and the stock area. Very nice, very solid. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Diamond Well Gun in Call of Duty Vanguard. Easily one of the best SMGs in this game, if not Call of Duty in general. I mean, this gun is so incredibly powerful. Very solid gun. It does have the studs on the iron sight, which is kind of annoying. Um, majority of it is the studs. They do have that weird thing where they wrap around and it's kind of inconsistent, but I'm sure that will go away with some attachments. At least that's kind of what I'm hoping. And if you are new here, uh, one thing I do in Call of Duty Vanguard is I, uh, I equip some different attachments um, so we can see what the camo looks like on different builds. Um, so the next following sections will just be um, first on long range build, kind of like this, and then on the short range uh, fast fire rate builds.
And of course, we cannot forget about gold on the well gun here. Uh, it looks very nice. Again, gold camo looks really solid in this game. A little bit of that more two-part action that I like. So, yeah, very solid gun. Gold camo also looks nice. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you watched it all the way to the end here, thank you so much. Comment below if you did. I mean, seriously, that helped me out. Fine, you have no idea. I feel like watch time is super beneficial for me. Okay. Um, anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video. It helps me on every single one of my videos. If you have any ideas for uh, you know what content I should post or any ideas for what I should do, please comment down below. I would love to hear some feedback from you guys. Subscribe for more, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.